the top seven blockchain use cases. Number one, voting. We have all heard many times of public elections getting rigged by certain parties affecting the results. Blockchain can be used for voters registration, identification and an electronic voting counting system to ensure that only legitimate votes are counted, none are altered and none are removed or changed. Creating an immutable public ledger viewable by all, making it more accurate and more fair. Number two, payments and financial industry. Technologies like Bitcoin allow any time international payments across the border at little to no cost. This enables third world countries to have access to finances without the need of a central authority. They are also fully decentralised which allows peer to peer payments. They are only a limited supply which reduces inflation unlike our current fiat systems. Number three, insurance. The insurance industry will benefit from a faster, easier and safer ecosystem. The blockchain can also help users manage it in a less costly and more convenient way of eliminating the insurance broker as the need of a middleman. It can also help insurers themselves manage a claim in a more transparent and responsive manner. It can also help the reduce of fraud by ensuring that only valid claims are made. Number four, decentralized applications. Decentralized applications are apps that are peer-to-peer. -peer. They have no central authority controlling all of our data. Currently, we have very few large companies that control our data, like our contacts, photos, and messages. Decentralized applications allow the users to sell their own data as they are the only ones in control of it. They can also not be shut down by a central authority like a government. Number five, healthcare. One of the biggest problems that healthcare struggles with is as a platform to secure and save data, often falling victims to hacking due to the indated infrastructure. Blockchain can help the healthcare store and safely manage our data and share it with professional doctors or even patients. This will help data security and will even help give a faster or more accurate diagnostics. Number six, energy management. Energy management has been a highly centralised industry for a very long time, and that is about to change. Energy producers currently cannot buy it from one another and have to go through the public grid. Many startups on the blockchain are now enabling users to buy energy directly from one another in a peer-to-peer -peer way. This allows for a more transparent and easier way of managing your unused energy source. Number seven, academic records. By the educational sector allowing academic records to be distributed on the public ledger, this will ensure security and validity of our records. No longer will individuals be able to fake or scam people with incorrect qualifications. As each data is entered onto the blockchain, a proof of work will be applied to each record. This means that if Bob graduated on the 1st of May 2000 as a qualified doctor, everybody on the network could validate that piece of information when it was entered. This can never be changed or altered on the blockchain.